Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for watching the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to grant edit data script permissions to users of a space. In this video, I will show you a new permission option that makes assigning roles and capabilities to users of your tenant much, much easier. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Okay, to demonstrate this, there are two parts of this. One is accessible through the space member permissions, and then the other is available through the management console. So I'm going to show you the space permissions first. So to demonstrate this, I have two browser sessions. On the left is myself as a tenant admin, and then the other will be a new user that we're going to invite. So what I'm going to do first is click back just to show you that I'm in my catalog area and I'm in a space called Do More With Click. Now to the right, there's a button called Space Details. Here is where we can select members and we can add members. Now, traditionally you can click Add Members, search for a member that's been invited and then assign them a role or permission for viewing or editing data in apps or managing spaces, consuming data, etc. But you will now see this Anyone At and then the name of your tenant. So in this case, mine is called Retro Gaming. So right now it's set to no access. But what we can do is we can basically say for any user that's been invited to the tenant, it'll auto assign them this particular role or roles. So once they log in, they have access immediately to that space. So for example, what I'm going to do is select can view for anyone that is part of my tenant. In this case, it's called retro gaming. So I'm going to select done and it adds that anyone at. Now I have a new account on the right in the Firefox session, as you can see here. So we're gonna invite a new user. So I'm gonna to go to Click Cloud Management Console. We're gonna click Invite. And I happen to have an email address for Princess Peach Click at Outlook.com and click Invite. So now that particular user, brand new user, might have already registered with Click, if not when the user receives that invite, they'll have to register. And here is the inbox for Princess Peach. You're invited. So to make things easier, I'm just gonna copy the link from the button. If I automatically click it, it might go to one of these different sessions. I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna paste that here, which is representing the invite. Now Princess Peach has already registered with Click, so they already have an account and a password. So we're gonna click login. And on the left, I'm going to refresh and you're going to see that Princess Peach is now active. And there she is. And you can see that she automatically has access to the do more with click space and then can go in and then view any one of the apps. In this case, they have view only. Now, obviously the sheets would have to be public. If you remember, I covered that about private and public sheets. So we have one public sheet here. And now Princess Peach could actually view the analytics in this app. Okay, so that's from the space perspective of changing that member role. And then you can click this button here to remove it if necessary. Now let's say we want to bulk assign any new user that logs in or set roles for existing users in the system. So within the Click Cloud Management Console, what I'm gonna do here is just maximize this. And I'm gonna go over to permissions and you're going to see different security roles in their description, their type, such as admin or user. And you'll also see this auto assign box. So we have off or anyone at. So for example, if I wanted any new user that logged in, that was invited to have one of these roles, such as audit admin, data admin, developer, we can set these particular settings in auto assign. So here I just set for developer and tenant admin click confirm. And now if I go to all users and we refresh, you're going to see all of those roles now assigned developer and tenant admin to all the existing users on the account and any new user that registers will also have those new roles. 
okay? Making it much, much easier to sign those particular permissions and capabilities for users of the tenant, okay? Hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please ask them where this video is posted. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.